hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to make this really quick and easy project uh, which you can do it in a matter of few minutes so i call them the blooming flower coasters and the pattern is pretty simple and i'm not going into details on the yarn use and hook size and things needed for that information you can refer to the description of this video where all this information will be available so let's get started we are going to start off by making a magic ring where we wrap the yarn twice around the fingers and then we're going to chain one to keep the magic ring in place now into this magic ring we are going to make 10 half double crochets so if you find making the magic ring difficult you can make a chain of two and into the first chain you can make the 10 half double crochets so this is the first half double crochet after making the first half double crochet we're going to mark it so that we do not confuse it with the chain of one the chain of one here does not uh, is not considered as a stitch so we're going to make a stitch count from the first double uh, half double crochet onwards so this is the second half double crochet and the third half double crochet so in a similar manner we will be making a total of uh, 10 half double crochets into this magic ring so as you uh, keep making the half double crochets you can keep reducing the size of the magic ring so that it is easier to hold the magic ring while you're making the stitches and after you have completed a total of 10 half double crochets you can pull the tail yarn and fully close the magic ring so here we are almost uh, done making 10 half double crochets and we're pulling the tail yarn to close the magic ring now since we have already marked our first stitch so we're going to slip stitch into this marked stitch or the first stitch of the uh, round number one so just slip stitch to the first stitch and then we're going to chain one again here to chain one does not count as a stitch so into the same stitch we're going to make one half double crochet and we're going to mark it so that we know this is the first stitch of the round number two and then we're going to chain one and after the chain of one into the very next stitch we are going to make another half double crochet so the pattern for this round will be to make a half double crochet a chain one and we'll be repeating this pattern a total of 10 times so by the end of this round you should have a total of uh, 10 half double crochets and in between uh, you will have the chain ones so 10 chain uh, one uh, 10 chain ones and then half double crochets so continue making this pattern till you reach the marked stitch so we'll be making the half double crochets and the chain ones and when you are on the last stitch you're going to chain one again and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and after slip stitching make a chain of one uh, and in every round the chain of one does not count as a stitch so chain one now for round number three into the same stitch uh, you make one half double crochet first and mark it and now in the chain one space you're going to make an increase so to make an increase you're just going to make two half double crochets so make two half double crochets in the chain one space so this is one half double crochet followed by the second half double crochet in the same stitch now move on to the next stitch which is on top of a, a half double crochet so make one stitch over the half double crochet and two stitches over the chain one space so you will continue this pattern till the end of this round and by the end of this round you should have a total of 30 half double crochets so we'll be continuing this 
till we reach the mark stitch. So repeat this pattern till the end of this round. And in case you do not have a marker, you can use a yarn of a different color or even a paper clip to mark the first stitch of each round. So here at the end of the round again, we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. And then we are going to chain one. Chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So into the same stitch, we're making one half double crochet first and then marking it. So the pattern for this round is to make one half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the second stitch. And we're going to make an increase in the third stitch. So in the third stitch, make two half double crochets. So make one more half double crochet into the same stitch. So let's see it again. So we're going to make one half double crochet in the first stitch. One half double crochet in the second stitch. And in the third stitch, make an increase. So we're going to repeat this uh, pattern a total of 10 times. So by the end of this round, you should have a total of 40 half double crochets. So uh, after this round, we will start making the petals of the uh, blooming flower coaster. So continue this pattern till the mark stitch and you should have a total of 40 half double crochets. So once you reach the oh yeah so here we are almost at the end and we are making the last two half double crochets followed by an increase and right after the increase you will be making the slip stitch to the first stitch now here uh, since we're making the petals we will be working only on the front loop of the stitches so every stitch has this uh, two loops uh, the front and the back loop so here we are going to first slip stitch instead of the entire stitch we're going to slip stitch to the front loop of the stitch and we're going to chain one and into the stitch same stitch we're going to make one single crochet and then mark this as the first stitch of this round so for this entire round we're just working on the front loop only so into the second stitch also use the front loop and make the second single crochet into the third stitch also use the front loop and make the third single crochet and then make the fourth single crochet after the fourth single crochet you will do a chain of two so you have four uh, single crochets now make a chain of two now take the hook out and insert your hook into the first stitch and then uh, pull this loop through it and now you're going to chain Oh, sorry chain three so make a chain of three and into the chain two space we are going to make five treble crochet in it so this is the chain two space here you're going to make five treble crochet this is the first treble crochet so for a treble crochet you yarn over twice and then pull through two set of loops a total of three times so yarn over twice and pull a loop under the stitch and then pull through two set of loops three times so yarn over twice pull under the stitch pull through the first set the second set and the third set so continue making this treble crochet until you have a total of uh, sorry um, five treble crochets and after the five treble crochet you're going to chain three and slip stitch into the same space so this will so chain three and slip stitch to the same chain two space 
and this will be our first petal of this round so slip stitch into the same space and this is our first petal now the, for the second petal repeat the same pattern of making four single crochet in the front loop of the next four stitches so remember for the single crochets we are making only in the front loop of the stitch so make four single crochets and then chain two so chain two and then count four stitches back or yeah and then into this the first stitch of this petal going to pull it through this loop then make a chain of three and then make five treble crochets into the chain two space make five treble crochets into the chain two space so after the five treble crochets we will again chain three and slip stitch to the same space so remember we are making this entire petal uh, inside the in under the chain two space so uh, we are ending it with a chain three and slip stitching into the same space and then we are going to start the next petal so the pattern is pretty much uh, simple and we are going to repeat this a total of uh, 10 times to make 10 petals so if you remember we had a total of 40 stitches in the previous round and here for each petal we are using 4 stitches so by the end of this round you should have a total of 10 petals so continue this uh, pattern in a similar manner and until you reach the first stitch and you should end up with a total of uh, 10 petals So here we are at the 10th petal and we have made the last chain of 3 and we are going to slip stitch under the same chain 2 space and after this we are going to slip stitch uh, to the top of the marked stitch in the front loop oh, sorry this is not the front loop but to the top of the single crochet so we are going to or you can uh, remember it as the base of the first petal or if you have marked it then it is very easy and you should be able to identify the stitch and then make your slip stitch after the slip stitch we're going to chain one and pull the yarn tight to make a knot and then trim it off and here the poster with the petals is ready you can use this itself as a poster pattern if you want and you can see that there is a total of 10 petals and after this we are going to stitch in the tail yarn so in the back side you can see there is this back loop still available where we are going to uh, make the leaves but before that let's uh, stitch in the tail yarn we have one tail yarn at the center where we made the magic ring so to stitch the tail yarns you can use a needle in that case leave a longer tail yarn so that you can thread in a needle and uh, using the needle you can stitch the yarn through few of the existing stitches and then trim it off here i prefer using a smaller a crochet hook because for this i do not need to leave a longer tail yarn i can just using the crochet hook pull the yarn through few of the existing stitches and then trim it off so here i'm now uh, stitching in or crocheting in the uh, other tail yarn which is at the end of the last round 
and uh, another thing that you can do is after stitching in the uh, tail yarn you can also dab a bit of glue to the endings so that the tail yarn does not come off later so here we're done with stitching the tail yarn and now we are going to start making the leaves in the back loop so for that take a green yarn and make a slip knot and this slip knot you will be pulling it through the back loop stitches or we'll be working our leaves into the back loop stitches now so you can hold your coaster facing towards you and bend it this way so skip one stitch so uh, you will know that which is your first stitch of the round so skip the first stitch and into the next stitch pull this uh, slip knot through it and then you can chain one so after chaining one you're going to make four double crochets into the four back loop stitches you're going to start off with the same stitch as the chain one so this is our first stitch as the chain one does not count as a stitch then this is the second stitch and the third stitch third stitch or the third double crochet and followed by the fourth double crochet so this pattern is also similar to the petals but a slight difference uh, just to give them the shape of the leaves so here we are going to chain two and then take out the crochet hook insert your hook into the first stitch and then pull the loop through it now make a chain of two and into the chain to space first make three treble crochets this is the first treble crochet followed by the second treble crochet followed by the third treble crochet and after the third treble crochet we're going to make a chain two picot so for that first make a chain of two now insert your hook into the base two loops of the chain two and then make a slip stitch so this is a chain two picot after this we're going to make three more treble crochets in the chain two space so First treble crochet after the picot, the second treble crochet, and the third treble crochet. And after this, you're going to make a chain of two and slip stitch back into the same space. So, as you can see, by changing just a few stitches uh we got the shape of a leaf so this is our first leaf and because we skipped the first stitch it is not right behind the petal it is between two petals now we're going to work in a similar manner to make the second leaf so first start off with the four double crochets that you make in the back loop so this is the first double crochet the second double crochet the third double crochet and the fourth double crochet you can bend the petals in this manner so that the back loops are accessible to you and after the fourth double crochet so here while i'm working the stitches i'm also uh, including the tail yarn so that my stitches are on top of the tail yarn so make a chain of two now take your hook out and go back four stitches and then pull this loop through it and then make a chain of two and into the chain two space that we just created we are going to make first uh, three treble crochet
and this is the second double crochet and followed by the third treble crochet and on top of the third treble crochet we are going to make the chain to pico so make a chain of two and insert your hook into the base two loops and make a slip stitch so make a slip stitch just pull it through the stitch and make three more treble crochet into the same space So make three more treble crochet after the chain to pick up. This is the first one. The second one. And the third one. And following this, you will be making a chain of two and slip stitch into the same space. So here two leaves are done. And we'll be repeating this pattern a total of 10 times and we'll be having 10 leaves and you will see that the sleeves are placed uh, between the petals and since we are using double crochet for this round so the leaves will not lie uh, behind the petals and they won't be hidden uh, because of the double crochet uh, we have added extra height so the leaves are also visible so this is the last uh, leaf of this round and you can see that uh, this one you will be making uh, you will be having few stitches uh, made on the first stitch as well and repeat the pattern in a similar manner following the pattern we have done for the previous petals and make the last leaf of this round and once the leaf is done we will be slip stitching on top of the first double crochet so here too if you like you can mark the first stitch of the uh, round i have not done it since this is the last round but then uh, to identify the first stitch you can definitely place your marker in the on top of the first double crochet of this round as well so here after we make the chain two and then slip stitch now we are going to make another slip stitch to the top of the double crochet or to the top of the first stitch so or you can just say the base of the first leaf so make a slip stitch and after that chain one and pull the yarn tight to make a knot and now trim this off after trimming this off all you have to do is uh, stitch in the tail yarn and your uh, coaster blooming flower coaster is ready uh, you can also use a stiffening spray and uh, to shape the coaster better uh, cotton yarn is preferred to uh, make coasters because they're heat resistant but you can also use acrylic uh, for me i'm using milk cotton yarn which is a softer version of the cotton yarn so here our pattern is almost ready i'm just slip stitching the tail yarn to the back uh, side of the coaster so as you can see the beautiful coaster is ready you can make them in a variety of colors here i have uh, selected to make uh, three different shades of pink and you can also make the center uh, just a simple plain uh, flat circle instead of adding the pattern if you want i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial Please do subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon for notification and give me a thumbs up if this video was useful. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video and have a nice time guys.